hustle and bustle of North Station on a weekday morning. Hi everyone. This is my train for the morning, first one anyway. It's 8.18, seven minutes time, train 309. Departs from track six, right here. That train, right there, going to Lowell. And I am armed with a sub the size of Rhode Island. So I'm gonna call this breakfast and lunch. And probably lunch tomorrow, honestly. It's that big, look, look. Amazing value. Anyhow, let's get on board and go to Anderson Woven, our first port of call. So we are just leaving Wedgemere. Now I shan't be getting off at Wedgemere at any point or doubling back on myself, but I'm gonna turn the camera around in a second because we're getting back up to full line speed now. And less than three quarters of a mile from here is Winchester Center Station, which is currently closed for structural repairs. So I'm gonna turn the camera around now and just let it roll so that in due course, Winchester You'll be able Center. to see Winchester Centre. Now this is interesting, actually, that the, that the train has just also announced the stop Winchester Centre, despite the fact that we're not calling that. We can't call that. Physically can't right now. Now arriving at Winchester Centre. No, we're not. Like, we're really not. And do you know why? Because if you caught those workmen in the background there, that is where Winchester Station was. So are we stopping there? No, of course we won't. No, not yet anyway. But construction's ongoing. Next stop, Anderson Hoover. back to me how are you doing so Anderson RTC Woburn not Woburn I've made that mistake once too many I've always called it Woburn and uh, my wife always corrects me on its pronunciation here easy mistake to make though um, thinking the likes of uh, Woburn Safari Park which never went to before I emigrated but I'd still like to at some point. But anyway, here we are. Time to have a little explore and then on we go. Uh, back to Wedgemere. And just for your reference as well, doesn't even mention Woburn on that, but Anderson RTC, quite simply the RTC standing for Regional Transit Centre which is why you see that big building over there with the clock tower on the right hand side. That is the main building for the whole transportation logistical exercise here. The parking lot over there. Probably can't quite see it, but there's a Logan Express bus over there waiting at one of the bus shelters. And as the name suggests, that is an express coach service that takes you direct to Boston's Logan Airport. And of course, for my personal preference, we have trains. We have rail tracks. We have trains. And I was told that, well, there's people here waiting for one of the uh, 
one of the Down Easter services, which is another good point about this place. It is a interchange station for passengers going up towards Brunswick in Maine and also offering services to Dover, Wells and Exeter, not Wells, or is it Wells? I can't remember. But there are three stations in uh, New Hampshire that the Down Easter also serves. Um, but that is one thing that I want to take off relatively soon as well. I've wanted to go on the Down Easter for quite some time and I've yet to do so. So hopefully in a future video that will be coming up. But for now, I'm just happy to be here, having a little look around the lower line. And I'm having a good day. Can't knock it. Thought I would come up this little footbridge here to show one more thing at the north end of the station. And that being Wilbur interlocking. Now it's not what you see. I'm gonna do the little pokey finger thing that I did at Canton Junction before. Let's see if it works. No, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go, not that. Not that, it's a little bit in the distance, but just about enough to see it. Let me try and, nah, it's not gonna work. Wait, hang on, yes. Do you see at the base of my fingertip that little box over there, right next door to that, I believe to be Wilbur interlocking. There's a man that's just come out of a factory there and if he has fantastic vision and can see me poking my finger, one finger through this, then uh, he's probably gonna have questions. I think I've gotten away with it though. But, you know, shh, shh, don't say a word. I think we're fine, I think we're fine. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that was a pleasant little walk. It's just for my own curiosity, without any kind of measuring stick or device or anything like that, I have just walked from one end of this platform to the other, and I've come to a grand total of 286 yards as to the length of this platform. That was fun. Encounter 286 without distractions is... Uh, well, a little tricky, but halfway down with everyone else waiting for that down Easter, which should, should, fingers crossed, if it's running on time, then it will be here a minute before I have to leave. So, with a little luck, I should get a little good, little bit of a good shot at it, hopefully. In the meantime, though, this I've got no kind of gridding system or nothing to poke my finger through, so here's my hand, hi. But I would say about another... 200 yards or so down there, I think, is Crawford interlocking, but I am not as certain about that. That is one for me to look up, research. But hey, like I said before, that's all part of what these trips are for. Because this is a network to be explored, to be enjoyed, to be savoured. I just love this. I really do. platform to take me up to these stairs and you know what that's a terrible angle for it so I'm just going to go around this corner where I was going to head anyway commuter rail two trains both sides that way and that way for a ramp and I'll be taking the ramp just for curiosity it is nine uh well I'll say the hour hand's actually a bit wonky on that but it is nine o'clock so I've got nine minutes or so now to, uh, no, it's not, it's 9.07. So no, that's completely wrong. So yeah, where you saw that hour hand slightly wrong, it, it's, it's just wrong, ignore that. I need to get down there. Whoops. And here we go, Richmond. thank you. Thanks a lot, take care. Okay, Wedgeman. Don't have long here at all. Um, which is just as well, because from my research, there's not a great deal here at Wedgemere. I'll, uh, I'll have a look, wait for this train to go, and then have a little nosy around. I need to switch sides, I think. 
which I also need to wait for this to go for. So uh, give me a moment, I'll be back with you. Okay, now it's been and gone. I have a much clearer picture. Here's the high level platform here. There's the high level platform for the other side. And as is so correctly said here, because the down east services don't stop here, we have the high speed express trains operate through this location. Warning, stand behind the yellow line at all times. I am, thank you, there's my shoes. Yellow line, and I'm standing back. But it means I need to head over here because we have an underpass to negotiate. Right here. I think it's quite ordinary otherwise. Here's the bridge crossing. Here is the way down. And up here. Onto the other side, the outbound platform. Now my only question I really had here was can I see the fabled Winchester Centre station and its construction works from here? The answer is I think so because I see some yellow blobs in the background there's absolutely no chance they'll come out on here but it at least reminded me just how close these two stations are and there's numerous instances of this on the network of two stations being quite silly distances close to each other um, other examples that spring to mind earlier on Greenfield and so Greenfield no that's the other side of the state Greenwood and Wakefield they are extremely close to each other my old stomping ground of Auburndale which is extremely close to uh, uh, to West Newton station the as far as I'm aware the three Wellesley stations Wellesley Square Wellesley Hills Wellesley Farms they are all well hills and uh, hills is pretty much equidistant I think to Wellesley Farms and Wellesley Square but there are a lot of places on this network not just here at Wedgemere going back there to Winchester Centre where there's pretty much walkable distances between two stations anyway I need to do the whole flag thing here again I believe so uh, allow me on board here at Wedgemere all the way now to Lowell a little bit of time to relax and then I will showcase the terminal station on this line folks we're in Lowell and just like was the case at Wedgemere there appears to be a park just over the road so I've got about 20 minutes to kill here I'm gonna let the crowd disperse for a moment and then I'm gonna try and find it might not come to much but little else you can do in 20 minutes and for the train fans amongst you what we in Britain call thrash that's all Charles A. Gallagher Transportation Terminal. There we are. That's where we were. Let's go to the park. Just quickly, just quickly. That way. Welcome to South Common here in Lowell. Just made it off and over the road. We're only 150, 200 yards or so from that station over there. Lowell Station. And may I introduce you to the NFL's recent expansion team, the Lowell Geeks. Here we go. Hi everyone. Goose selfie. Goose selfie. Hi everyone. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Just wanted to say, just wanted to say hi. Hello. They're friendly, really. 
I don't have any food or anything like that. Sorry. I know, you keep looking over, I know, I know. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to your training. Uh, season starts soon. All the best to you, and uh, good luck for the season ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lowell Geese. Predicted to go Norton 17 for the season, as expected. Back to the station now. To all trains. Don't mind if I do. To all trains. To all trains. I can't say this place isn't well signposted. I like it. Here we are, Wilmington. Hi everyone. Very much a whistle stop tour here. I need to get straight over the other side. I've only got like six minutes. Um, so I shan't dilly dally. I'll just let you appreciate this train leave. I'm currently at walking pace with it. And I'm no longer at walking pace with it. And off it goes. And bye train. And I'll see you over the other side in a moment. Actually, uh, scrap that. I'm going to keep going along, but see over there on the right-hand side, to the right-hand side of the signal post, that is the Wildcat branch. That is what connects the Haverhill line and the lower line together, and most notably, and most accurately for actual service trains, that is where the Down Easter services go once they leave Anderson Woburn, they swing over to their next stop, Haverhill. And that is its main purpose, really, for at least for passenger, uh, for passenger transit. Uh, freight will go over that route as well. Plenty of it at that. But that's, uh, that's what that's for. Also, slightly, uh, slightly in the distance, again, maybe 150, 200 yards or so. Uh, that down there is... Uh, Bear with me a second, I'm, I'm going to double check my phone for this because again I've forgotten, much like I forgot the name of the park. Yes, Wilmington Interlocking. How stupid of me to forget that. Where are we? Wilmington. Look before crossing, you know, I better focus on this actually, you know. No trains here. No trains here. I'm crossing. Look before crossing, yes, thank you very much, I did. So once again, that's Wilmington interlocking over there because funnily enough, we're at Wilmington. Um, and that is honestly not a great deal else here. Uh, I wish I could actually take a train over the Wildcat branch. When, as and when I do the Down Easter service, I will do, and I'll see if I can make a particular note of that when I cross it. But for the time being, I'm now just gonna wait for my train back to North Bill Ricker and uh, conclude my little journey. to the station, on my way to North Bilrica and on my way to work, so excuse me, I need to change. And just like that, we're at North Bilrica. So it's time to say farewell to this episode of Royce on the Rails, thanks for joining me again, and I'll see you again soon. Take care for now. tiny little bit of bonus content for the first time uh, given that my lift is running slightly late nothing crazy but thank you all the same to Sam if you're watching this thank you thank you and to Weston hi I know you're in the car but here it is the Bill Ricker and Bedford Railroad America's first two foot narrow gauge railroad in 1877 nice little historical snippet for you as you come onto the station and honestly there's not a great deal to uh, 
right home about at this station, but it does have a cute little waiting shelter, which unfortunately appears to be locked up at the moment. And as is a sign of the times, this is uh, pretty ancient, I'm sure, and it doesn't have a receiver, but little uh, wall side payphones, which in this modern era of ours in the year 2022, I don't exactly think we need them anymore. Very few people do anyway. And here it is, the waiting shelter inside. Not sure how well that's gonna come out on film, but you see a few benches. I don't know if this gets opened up periodically. I'm not sure if it opens up at the other side. Wouldn't make much sense, honestly, to open it one side but not on the other, but who am I to know? Uh, just wanted to give a little quick snippet of that before Sam and Weston arrive, so I'll actually wrap it up there now. So, thanks for joining me, and if you stayed past the initial credits, thanks for joining me again. See you soon.